I've had an opportunity now to play with TV Junkies uh, AC Home Run Mod. Uh, it is pretty slick, but it's very powerful, and there's a big learning curve, at least for me, but there's a big learning curve because it does everything. And if you go to the uh, Silicon Dust forums, and it's under the Cody forum, Community Development. Uh, here is the download link. It'll download the zip file, and when you install it, you just go to Cody and uh, install as a zip file. So it's real easy to install. And if you take a look, main features, very in depth instructions on what he's got. It does a lot. This little thing is very powerful. Okay, now I will be using this remote. I got it a couple of dollars cheaper a couple of years ago, and it, it works extremely well for this particular application. I'll be using a Windows 10 box, and this is a little micro computer. It is a full-blown computer using a standard Windows 10 that you'd put on a $10,000 desktop computer. So it run the same one, and it's only $120 with free shipping. So that's all the way. Okay, now here is my... Uh, Now, one thing I do want to show you, you need to go to the configuration when you install it. Go to add-ons and go to the, uh, this one here. And get into the configuration screen. And it pretty well covers just about everything under the instructions of what to do. There wasn't many changes I needed to make. However, in order to get the DVR to work or the recording capability, you need to tell it where you want to store the recordings. In this particular case, the recording path, okay, you can store it locally on your C drive if you wish to, or a removable disk if you want to restore it there. So in my particular case, I have a NAS. So that's where I'm recording it to. And I have two NAS, this is my newer one, so this is where my recording destination is. So we're all done there. So we configured it. Now we go down to the program. Okay, now, it happened that I had divorce cord up, not that I particularly enjoy that, but anyway, that's what I had on as I was uh, testing it. Dinosaur train, smoking fish. Now, there again, I'm using an antenna on the roof, and my HD home run tuners are the OTA version, over the air tuners, so uh, I don't have a lot of channels. It's pretty simple for me. But if I want to... Uh, Look at the whole guide. And you can read these from 10 feet away, 20 feet if you so desire. Uh, of course, I'm running it on my 65 inch TV. Uh, my normal viewing distance is about 15 to 17 feet from it. Uh, so it works very well. Now, if I want to record it, let's make a recording request. Okay, let's add a request. Uh, let's make one for show. Uh, how about Dragnet? I can spell that R A G N E T. In my age, I can't remember the name of the shows, much less spell them. Okay, we're going to. Okay, say recording. Oh, let's make a record recording. And an episode title keyword? No, we don't need an episode title. And a uh, synopsis description keyword? No, we don't know what they would be. Uh, all channels? Yeah, let's pick all channels, whatever channel. First runs only? Well, since it's probably about 10 or 20 years old, probably no. So, first runs and reruns? Yeah, let's do that. Do we want duplicates? No, let's, let's do that one. 
keep all recordings, the last 60 recordings. Well, it's 30 should be plenty. Let's keep the last 30 recordings on it. Uh, do we need to do any padding? Actually, from what I determined, my guide data is that pretty doggone accurate. So I really don't need to add any uh, padding. So I don't need no padding to it. So there it is. Okay, so I just added a new record request. Okay, now what that's going to do, there's my view, my drag bit that I just created. And I don't keywords or anything like that. So it will start recording all the dragnet issues. So if I want to do that, I can do that. So uh, there are so many options here that I'm not familiar with all of them. Channel autopilot, I'm not sure. Again, I think your pardon, sir. You got so many options. It's a desk job? Yes. Keeping books? Yes. What's the last channel? Show options bar, stop video player, or exit. I guess it's all right to tell you about some of the things we've got up here. And again, there's the guide that we can look at. And it's still playing the last program in the background. Combat. Now, you know what? I think I will record that. Record this title? Yes. Okay, anyway, that's what I want to show you. Add the favorites? Yes. Added the favorites. So, uh, this is a pretty slick little guided uh, adaptation of the uh, HD Home Run Guide itself. So, that's what I wanted to do. I just wanted to show you that. So. Hopefully that will help, and uh, if you get an opportunity, give it a try. It's not that hard to install, but there's a, so many options that uh, it takes a little while to learn how to use them, and I'm still learning how to use some of the options, so forgive all my mistakes I made. Thank you.